Yo guys, I'm Remd and in this tutorial I'm gonna to show you how to do camera movements in Blender. So we're gonna start right now. So guys, I'm in Blender right now. I opened the skins without an animation, but if you want to know how to import skins and all that stuff in Blender, then you need to see my other tutorials. I have two from Blender, so you can watch it. I will place them in the description. I will show you how to do the camera movement. It's one, I don't think this will be a long video, but I will try to explain it as good as possible. So, so go to add and then you go to add a camera. If you have the camera rights, we press on it like yeah you need this like the movement tab gonna move this to the place where you want it you can like move around with this ball over here like you see you can move it right there i, I think there are shortcuts and stuff but i don't use it for now so you're gonna move with that so now you're gonna see where you're gonna place the camera so this part what you see is where the camera is filming so of course it's filming from there but that's the size of it you place it on the space where you want it to be you can watch by this then you see okay it's not good then you can move it a little bit better like that if you have found the right position like i'm almost good for now i think a little bit more if you want to rotate this thing you press on the rotate button like this and then you can like use the blue button or the red button so if you have that then you need to grab the timeline it's right over here grab it and then you see the timeline and if this is for the mill or something or a banner or i don't know if it's for an animation then you need keyframe this of course i don't have an animation but i will show you how to like move the camera and make some animations with the camera so the skin is not moving right now but that's not in the tutorial of today i only will show you how to move the camera of course if you want an animation you can watch my other videos my other tutorials take animations from examo and put them back in blender so okay so how are we gonna animate the camera it's press this button the ball over here and then you have keyframe selected so what i first do like you don't see like something you don't see keyframes right now what i first do everything is take a little bit back and move it then you see the first keyframe is there then you go watch and then that's good if you want to move it to the side maybe like i want to rotate it a little bit to go a little bit to there of course if you have an animation then you will see how the animation is walking or it's like yeah or something like that and you need to see how it's going but that's not for today if you have an animations or something then you need to follow the tractor and film it as good as possible if you do the camera movement you need to do it on an animation i don't think you want to use this on like an, a non-animated skin or something so I want to animate it maybe I want to go to this side and put it back maybe I want to film the side of it maybe okay we're almost there and then you need to like see where it's the best to move of course this is not an animation so yeah this is only a purpose for showing you guys how to do this so I don't think this is good or something but this is only showing so you see now it's moving so that's an animation but like if you have more points like if it's an animated skin then you will see that the camera needs to moving further and stuff like maybe you go then backward or something like that see then you see it's moving like this but you see it's not smooth so how are we gonna fix that first going to the side press on it and then vertical split then you split like this then you press on this button and then you go to the graph editor and select the keyframes then you go to key and then you press smooth keys then the animation will be smoother now you see it's smoother of course you need to make it a little bit better than this but if you do a big animation sometimes it will not work then redo it and try to make it on your own smoother so maybe you can like use the these things right there but i don't recommend doing with this but if you want to make it smoother try to use the then you have a smooth animation like you see this is not smooth but this is it for like yeah if you have animations like big animations like it needs to follow with your actor or something take your time for it i recommend to like put so much work in it as possible then it will be good like you don't need to hurry on these things and of course you can also like move it like to this side or maybe yeah follow the character what you want and or maybe some other things you can do everything thing with this i hope you enjoy this tutorial it's a really short one but i hope you learn something from this in the next tutorial i don't know when i will do the next tutorial but i'm almost done with my blender tutorials for now i think i have two more tutorials left of blender like i want to also do a light tutorial how to do lightning and stuff with an animation like i think that will be the biggest uh, tutorial like the best one like the most informative one for next week i don't know what i'm gonna to do for a video but if you have any ideas let me know i think maybe i will do a funny video or something we will see but for or maybe an out challenge or something and of course soon i will be putting out a really clean montage so stay tuned for that and of course thanks for watching subscribe like and i will see you in the next video